Kaduna, an industrial center of northern Nigeria, has recorded significant milestone under the leadership of His Excellency Malam Nasser Ahmed Arufai since he assumed office on May 29, 2015. Projects embarked upon since he became governor are notable, like rehabilitation and construction of many roads and other projects, most of which are completed, construction of drainages throughout the state, as well as mounting of streetlights a development many residents of the state have applauded. In March 2016, the governor inaugurated the Kaduna State Internal Revenue Service, CAD IRS, amongst other agencies and parastatals in a deliberate attempt to work hard to improve the state's revenue profile in the face of dwindling federal allocation, as there is every need for government to look inwards for other sources of revenue to enable it to perform its statutory responsibilities to the people of the state. How has the journey of collecting tax been since the inauguration of the Kaduna State Internal Revenue Service, CAD IRS? Pioneer Executive Chairman of CAD IRS, Al Haji Mukhtar Ahmed, speaks. Uh, the journey so far has been good, it's been uh, rough, but uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever we've been able to achieve. Um, so far, so good in terms of um, planning, organization, and of course, ultimately, the collection of revenue in Kaduna. Uh, for the better part of the year 2016, we spent a lot of time planning on how to go about the execution of the new law, which is uh, in the public domain. Now we have a new task code for Kaduna. So we used the better part of 2016 in planning and uh, to block leakages. So, so far the journey has been very good. It's rewarding as well because uh, through this action we've been able to, you know, increase the revenue for the state at the end of the year 2016 by about 7 billion naira. Yes, uh, we are still doing some little uh, reconciliation with the Office of the Accountant General because there are some funds way by way of revenue that are coming to the state that do not necessarily pass through here because of the single treasury, I mean treasury single account that we have of the government. Some of the revenues that are being paid outside the state come directly to the treasury single account. And uh, at the end of the reconciliation, I'm sure we will better off than what we have uh, shown within the state. The intention of the uh, government to have this new task force, we don't want to overflow the issue. We all know where we are coming from from oil boom to nose diving of revenues because of the fall of the oil prices, which necessitated the government uh, to have the new task code. And uh, it came into operation from the 1st of March 2016. Number one, it has professionalized the service to give us a face of a revenue to collector that is uh, professional in its approach. Secondly, it has centralized the collection of tax revenues uh, for all MDS and local governments to this service. This service is only the uh, agency, the only agency that has been saddled with the responsibility of collecting tax. But most importantly, and the one that has impacted a lot, is the issue of the uh, criminalization of cash collection revenue. Uh, you still have some stubborn individuals <laughs> that will not let go, but uh, it will interest you to note that we have taken close to 35 people you know, from the inception of the law till now to various courts within the state for violating that, uh, you know, section of the law. Taxation, indeed, has been the major source of revenue for most governments as it is the only way to cushion the effects of fallen federal allocations and for states to be self-sustaining. But what is the level of compliance? Again, the executive chairman reacts on the challenges of tax collection in Kaduna State. Tax is a word that people don't like to hear, <laughs> for obvious reasons. 
as a nation, we don't have the tax culture. And, um, uh, and people have been left for a very long time, you know, not paying taxes because we rely heavily on oil revenue. So to bring it back at this dispensation, you know how difficult it is to convince people, more so that in the past, the little that was collected from people or the much that was collected from people, they don't even know where it's been channeled to. So it's difficult for you to convince somebody to continue doing that. But we thank God uh, for having uh, the person of Man Ahmed Nasir Erupai as the governor. And uh, people are seeing that whatever it is that is being collected is being put back. Um, when we, when he gave the marching order that look, at least every month, that was last year, keep one billion naira for me because I want to put it back to the good people of Kaduna by way of roads, by way of providing security and all that. We maintained that and everybody can see that uh, Kaduna is changing in the face of it. The challenge really is for people to understand, you know, that this taxes is like civil responsibility and people need to pay. Uh, so convincing people to do that after 16 years of abandonment in terms of, you know, pursuing of taxes and putting it at the right place is a major challenge. Then secondly, uh, we have another challenge with my colleagues in other departments and ministries of government because the law has prohibited them from collecting these taxes. They can only generate while the service collect. So it's a new thing in town. So it's a very big challenge to try and convince my colleagues of the need to agree with this section of the law for them to let go, to allow the sub of the service to, 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 to collect. Uh, because of this, we have organized a seminar and a workshop for local governments, which was successfully done in February. And we are going to hold the same uh, kind of seminar and workshop whoever we rub minds with permanent secretaries in the different ministries and departments of government with a view to having a common understanding on the need for us to work with this law that is for them to generate and for the service to collect. It will interest you to know that we have close to 77 revenue generating agencies in the state. And you can imagine all of them being out there generating and collecting the kind of chaos that was existing before the coming of this law. But with the coming of this law, they can only generate while we collect. The Executive Director, Revenue Operations of Card IRS, also explains how uneasy it is in tax collection and a call on the general public to endeavor to pay their taxes promptly for the overall development of Kaduna State. People don't like paying taxes, but uh, since we came in as uh, new management of uh, Card IRS, what uh, we have tried to do so far is to engage with our taxpayers to make them understand the need for them to pay taxes. You know, we can engage them to build that culture of tax compliance in a Kaduna state because before then, tax compliance has been very, very low. Of course, there are challenges, just as I said, uh, people don't like paying taxes. You know, so you have to uh, bring in various strategies to see that you are able to convince uh, the taxpayers to reason with you and see the need to pay taxes. You know, because uh, government needs money. But without money, you cannot run government business. And the taxpayers being the bedrock of the tax system, you have to engage them and then make sure that they reason with you and then they pay up uh, the taxes they ought to pay as uh, individuals or as citizens uh, of the state. So there are a lot of challenges. Challenges, uh, you know, there are people that are bent on uh, uh, tarnishing the image of the service because they are not comfortable with a new method of uh, collection that is put in place by the government. You know, they think uh, it is still uh, business as usual, where they can just walk into any premises, collect money, and then pocket it. Uh, pocket it. You know, the new tax uh, collection system is such that you pay to the banks directly. We don't collect cash. So we have people outside that are uh, fighting, doubts, but uh, at least we've been able to deal.
deal with some of them, but we still find a handful of them outside there. Residents of Kaduna State enumerates the importance of payment of taxes. If we want the government to work properly and efficiently, we must pay our taxes. Uh, we are supposed to play our role by paying our tax and then monitor the activities of the government by implementing uh, infrastructural developments in the state. Without paying your tax, there's no way the government can function properly. So I feel everybody should try and pay its, uh, his tax. Once you pay your tax, it indicates that you are really loyal to the government. And by that, it will stimulate the government to do a lot of projects, a lot of work like uh, like construction of a lot of drainage we are seeing physically in Kaduna State Metropolitan, uh, construction of roads that will enable social amenities and like extension of uh, water project in Zaria and other etc etc. So I think it's very paramount for us to pay our tax. The tax that we are paying is supposed to be in construction of roads, schools, hospital and equipment and other social amenities for the masses. The Kaduna State Internal Revenue Service, CAD IRS, is bent on using the most convenient strategies that will add more value and integrity to the revenue mobilization process and further actualize the developmental objectives of the state government. Its vision is to become the most efficient and innovative generating agency in Nigeria, built on integrity, teamwork, offering prompt services to boost taxpayers' confidence for the effective and efficient governance of Kaduna State, while its mission is to render value-added services by being firm and fair, entrenching a sustainable system that will encourage massive voluntary tax compliance and improved internally generated revenue. Alhaji Mukhtar Ahmed talks on the use of the revenues collected so far. But on average in 2016, we are doing 1.4 billion. Uh, sometimes that's the average. That's the month that we hit up to 2 billion. Now the average for 2017 is 1.7 billion. So we've added 300 million on top and we intend to maintain that tempo until we get to 4 billion every month. Principally, in terms of physical uh, infrastructure, you see the roads that we are constru constructing the culverts, um, health centers in the state, all of them have contracts have been awarded for them to be upgraded, some new ones to be built. Then you have schools also that have been given some of them to be upgraded, new ones to be built. So to mention a few, these are some of the things that the government is doing with this uh, money. And of course, you know that Kaduna is not owing any civil servant up to now, there is no civil servant that is being owed his salary. It is now very obvious that most projects impacted upon by His Excellency Malam Nasser Ahmed Erufai's administration is made possible through internally generated revenues. Support the Kaduna State Internal Revenue Service, CAD IRS, by paying your taxes as and when due to make Kaduna State great again. CAD IRS, tax for service.